This episode is brought to you by TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com is your all access to culture. Check out cultural merchandise like leggings, hats, mini boxing gloves and bags. Also t-shirts like hip-hop, nature, rock bands, reggae and dark fantasy. Fast shipping worldwide. That's TwoLinedMusicCutStore.com Now let's check out this episode. What happened now is when the song Bojo Bantan that I wrote for Bojo start him himself Squinji Aga Miami and him and I think him and courtesy are best friends from Paisner they're best friends for some reason everybody in America talk about Abuja there so I think Squinji tell himself yo are the youth from BSA this are the new youth write that song you see me so he came back and he said to me when he come when he fired from fire and he said to me say yo we just want you to know say it's a rascal, sang your voice. Yeah, 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 you're right. If you saw one, you know. Yeah. Me know, me know, know if you know, or try to know, says so a, a new anthem, you get this song. I'm big up yourself. I never forget that. I'm a man as a boss, man. Big up yourself, man. You see me? Because again, it was in, a, this was in a situation where Mark was building the, the war with him. So he, 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 he building a, creating a new juggling. So I'm going to put Buja, other people on it and, and, and bag us up. So we were going to Kingston. So we write the song. And prior time before we go to Kingston. And Bojo, he never he, at first he never wanted to take it, the, 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 the paper from me. Because I write the paper, write the song mm-hmm. on the paper. And like a father kid up talk him and, and 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 he was hesitant at first. And mm-hmm. I said, Good. <laughs> I don't want to give me the lyrics, you know. Who is this guy? And the first thing I got a Bantan studio. Mm-hmm. And it's because of this, to be honest. You see me? Mm-hmm. And um, he said what he said, but then he look on it and to m- write out properly it, 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 where he can understand. Mm-hmm. And Buju make only Buju from his start. Grand Ben said this is on his big. I'm an old. You know, and start. This is the great band and this is out of Alexandra. You know, and it's through the mash up on everybody. I said, I remember Buju you don't know the song, you know. Mm-hmm. All me do, I give him oh, me, the, me, me write the song in a theme voice. And oh, me think oh, him sound, and oh, him would have sound, the key and everything. So, like, me kind of said, set, uttered to him, and then he said, All right, run with him. And one take. I think at last part of the song when he reached on a disco will be a side, him kind of miss a can him, him do back the 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 the, 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 um, the dub play. But all those dubs that we did that time was recorded on DJ Matt did have a a, 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 a portable studio. Yes. When he in a budget and studio and recorded all the songs in. This podcast is brought to you by triple